costs by up to 60%. And here at Integrate Comfort Systems, we are proud to offer a $2,000 cashback on heat pump installation. If you're interested in learning more about our fantastic offer for heat pump installation, call us today, click below, and visit our website to schedule your free consultation. So a very common thing that happens in homes is the fight over the thermostat. And usually the dad is in charge of it. Sometimes thermostats end up in the goal. We reset and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open ice. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Carlotti. Oh, oh. The end zone it is. Caught. Charge. Good for the pass. Here's a shot right in front. Score. And that is a base hit. The run will score. And freshman pull a check. Gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is going to make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. Grosso for three. He got it! Live from Hackettstown High School in Hackettstown, beautiful Warren County, New Jersey. Mars Sussex Sports presents boys basketball tonight in an NJAC freedom tilt. It's the Jefferson Falcons up against the Hackettstown Tigers. Welcome to Hackettstown, everybody. I'm Joel Kanya. Pleasure having you with us once again on Mars Sussex Sports. You see the records right there. Great game here. Early season matchup, early January matchup. Jefferson comes in with a 5-0-1 record. Hackettstown comes in with a 6-0 record. Both of them are 3-0 in the NJAC Freedom Division. And I'm going to bring in my partner right now, Matt Giovoni. And uh, Matt, a big tilt today. Let's talk about Jefferson right now. Their only loss this year was by one point to Paquan. Yeah, you talk about this being a big game in the NJAC Freedom Division, and it might be too early in the year but this could decide the division if you look at divisional standings down the road but right now we just need to focus on tonight's game in jefferson they feel like they should be undefeated right now a one point loss to an undefeated paquanic team that's a tough way to lose and just from watching this jefferson team during warm-ups they can shoot they're going to be the type of team to take any shot they want if they get a player open, he's gonna take a shot. It doesn't look like they're afraid of any shots. Three points, two points, half courts. They can shoot from anywhere on the court. Hackettstown's gonna have to keep their defense steady and on Jefferson the entire time. For Jefferson, they have four leaders on this, on the starter. They're, they have four three-year starters. That's you know, hard to believe. For Hackettstown, hey, they got some talent too, man. They're 6-0. and oh. They got guys like Andrew Carita, who just does all the dirty work for Hackettstown. And of course, we can't uh, forget uh, Darian Santos and Ethan Almeida, and they have a lot of talent on this side also. They're very good. <laughs> yeah, and Hackettstown, from their warm-ups, they seem to be going with the LeBron strategy of playing basketball, which is either shoot a three-point or drive to the rim and try for a layup. And if you can... Get the, if you can get the ball to the rim, if you can get those open threes, that's going to work very well for them. They do have a huge student section here tonight, which I think momentum is going to be a very big part of this game, and that's going to help them out a lot. It's looking to be a very good game. Jefferson, with that 5-1 record, their head coach, 26 years as head coach, Joe DiGennaro, great guy. He has over 300 wins, close to 400 wins in his career. On the Hackettstown side, of course, we have Coach Mike McDonough, who's done an unbelievable job with this Hackettstown program in his 13th season. Don't forget, this Hackettstown team won the Hunter and Warren Sussex tournament last year, right, ac right across the street here at Centenary University, beating a very good Walk Hill team last year. That was their very first Hunter and Warren Sussex tournament championship, so they're very proud of that, obviously, as we're getting set for this game. Hey, folks, I want to thank all the sponsors tonight. I'd like to thank the Hackestown Booster Club, 
I'd like to thank the Moose Lodge in Hackettstown. We make it happen partnering with the community with sponsorships of recreational and high school sports, college scholarships, as well as community donations to the police, fire, and rescue squad, also supporting local veterans and seniors. That's the Moose Lodge. And we're gonna step aside for the national anthem. Hackettstown High School tonight. Yes, they call the fan section the jungle here as Jefferson gets set to play Hackettstown. We'll give you their starting lineups. First of all, their point guard is number 24, Luke Alba Urbano. Luke, a three-year starter, does everything on the floor, can take it to the hoop. He's very quick. At guard, their shooter, number 22, is Jake Studnick. Another guard is Jason Isley, number 21. At forward, Travis Osterhout. We know his name from football. Very good football player, getting some Division I look. All right, we're back here at Hackettstown. We're getting started. Had some technical difficulties, but Hackettstown with the ball in their home whites, Jefferson in their away blues. We'll give you the rest of the starting lineups for Hackettstown. Of course, Santos is number 15. Carita, Andrew Carita, the senior, number 20. As we had a jump shot off the bat by Almeida. That's Ethan Almeida, number 40. Take, we're gonna watch him tonight. He's a ball player also. 34 is Jacob Mendez. And number 44, freshman starting Sean Hall. As we're underway here from Hackettstown High School, Joel Kanya and Matt Giovanni, three-pointer was no good. And here comes Darian Santos, who can handle the ball. He's very quick. He can pass the ball. He can shoot the ball. Tried for a shot there. Good defense by the Falcons. Out of bounds. And we'll go Hackettstown way. And early on, you could already see, we're gonna see a lot of crazy passes, a lot of jump shots. These are athletic basketball players, some of the best in the county and in their individual counties. And it's just gonna be a crazy night of basketball. That's Ethan Almeida right there. Boy, he really came on last season for the Tigers. There you see Jacob Mendez, Almeida looking for the shot and taken away. And that's defense by Isley for Jefferson, number 21, as they'll reset. And there you see number 24, that's Luca Urbano. Three-pointer, no good, off the mark by Studnick. 
as Hackerstown gets the ball back. And the jungle is pumped up tonight. You gotta love it. You're just gonna hear those chants all night. You can already tell. Mendez looking inside. You see man-to-man -man defense by Jefferson. Nice look underneath. Hall couldn't handle it. That's the freshman right there, number 44, Sean Hall. He's had a good start to this season. Right off of him, a turnover for the Hackettstown Tigers. So, again, you see the full court pressure. The 3-2. Jefferson breaks it easily in the lay-in by Urbano. And our first points of the ball game. And if, if I were betting on this game, I would not have bet that their first points would be a layup. Jefferson was taking all sorts of crazy shots from all over the court, but they were not practicing layups and warm-ups. They broke that press very nicely. In the corner, out of bounds, and Hackettstown early on, a couple of turnovers, and Jefferson gets the basketball right back. We mentioned in the pregame, Jefferson feels as though, you've got to imagine Jefferson feels as though they should be undefeated right now. And the chance to take down another undefeated team, they're definitely looking to jump on the opportunity early here tonight. Yeah, I'm talking to Joe DiGennaro before the game. He, you know, their power points, I mean, they're even talking about that now. Here's Santos taking it to the hoop and lays it in at Hackettstown. Ties the ball game at two. Santos has had a very nice season. He's actually averaging the, the most two-pointers per game on Hackettstown so far this season at 4.2. Three-pointer off the mark. Almeida, the rebound. Urbano took the three. Santos sets up. There's Andrew Carita, number one. Remember him as running back for the Tigers football team. Very good season this year for the Hackettstown Tiger football team. And how about the Jefferson Falcons? Also had a pretty good year, too, winning a playoff game down in Madison. Both good programs this season. Very good programs, and that goes out of bounds. And they're going to say it is Jefferson basketball. 4.47 on the clock. We're tied at two, a defensive battle early on. How about that? <laughs> I mean, who would have thought? Hackettstown averaging 64 points per game, Jefferson a averaging 66. I would not have bet that this was a defensive game early on. Isley looking inside. You see zone defense right now by the Tigers. And they don't let anything inside. Correa got that ball, gives it over to Santos. Tied at two. Almost halfway through the first quarter here from Hackettstown High School. Pleasure having you with us, Morris Sussex Sports Network. As now, the Tigers will reset. That's the freshman, Sean Hall. Man-to-man -man defense by Jefferson. Knocked away nicely again by Jason Isley. And that does not go out of bounds. Actually, the official hit the official. And here goes Mendez. Mendez will take it to the hoop. No good, and brought down by Studnik. And the thing here about a defensive battle is that momentum is going to be key, especially the further you get into this game. So whichever team is able to break that defense first is going to be huge. Studnik's the shooter. That's a three. And Jefferson takes an early 5-2 lead. Santos will bring it up. 3.23 on the clock. First quarter. I didn't even notice until that, but Jefferson has themselves a decent student section across the way as well. Yes, they do. It's good to see. Inside, Karina can't get it to go down. And it's brought down by Studnik. And now Urbano will settle down for Jefferson. Zone defense working for Hackettstown early on. Here's Hall. Hall taking it to the hoop. He's fouled. And he'll go to the line and shoot two. Yeah, and that zone defense is exactly what Hackettstown needed to pull out after watching those warm-ups and seeing how Jefferson was going to try and play this game. They were shooting from all over, so what do you do? Cover all over by putting zones everywhere on the court. It's very smart so far defensively. That is a non-shooting foul. Well, it looked like he was in the... He was shooting the ball there, but they don't get the call. And Carita's three-pointer, no good. Here comes Studnik. That rainbow jumper for three. And Jefferson takes a six-point lead. They want a timeout with 2.34 on the clock. This is a Hackettstown timeout. 
And uh, again, we'd like to thank all our sponsors. Also, the Hackettstown PBA, Hackettstown and Mansfield PBA for sponsoring us. The Moose Lodge in Hackettstown, where they make it happen, partnering with, with the community with sponsorships of recreational and high school sports, college sponsorships, as well as community donations to the police, fire, and rescue squad, also supporting local veterans and seniors. And also, I would like to thank the Hackettstown Booster Club. You see it right on the screen right there as we look at Coach Joe DiGennaro. And in his 26th year, he won his 300th game back in 2018. On his way to 400 wins, he's been coaching this program since 1997. And I mean, how do you put a better resume together than that? That's just coaching like that especially in games like this where you have two very talented teams early in the season that could be a huge edge for jefferson and will likely attribute to any success they have in this game or later on in the season good start for the falcons with the six point advantage 238 on the clock jefferson playing solid defense man to man this entire first quarter so far we have a substitute in, that's Andrew Moosenak. Moose, they call him, number three in the game for the Tigers. Almeida looking around. Again, Jefferson playing man-to-man. -man. Carita, there's Santos. Got to love those yellow shoes. Jumper, Santos. I think Jefferson Cer got a piece. Certainly makes them easy to spot those yellow shoes. Underneath, and I'm going to say that's a travel. So a travel violation on Colton Borowski, the senior. And how about Jefferson having four three-year starters on their team? That's, you don't see that too often. That breathes success. We say it all the time in any high school sport. The longer that these young men are able to play together, the more of a relationship that they're going to be able to build up with each other and the better that you're going to see them play. And I think we're seeing it early on this season it, with Jefferson. It makes coaching for Coach DiGennaro easy because he has four four generals on the court, four captains. Really. Absolutely, and it's going to also help inspire and build up the program for those younger players. All right, Jefferson with the six-point lead. Carita picks it up. Good steal by Carita. Hall and one. Oh, what a steal by Carita. Gives it over to Hall, and that's exactly what Hackettstown needed. Check it out. He pokes it away, dives after it, gives it over to Hall, and he popped it in. And the foul, he'll shoot a one. And that play is at Hackettstown's specialty, driving to the rim, setting up plays in the transition like that. That's exactly what Hackettstown wants to do, and that's how they're going to get back in this game, even though they're only down by four right well, that, now. That's exactly what they needed. Hall hits the three-point play Let's go. and the freshman pulls Hackettstown to within three with a minute 30 to go in the first quarter Hackettstown in the man-to-man -man defense that does not count foul is called on the Tigers and it's going to be on Santos number 15 that's his first this is the only main difference between how these two teams have played so far is the three throws. Jefferson has had way more success, way more attempts, but also way more success shooting, getting 81 off of three throws rather than Hackettstown's 38. So Hackettstown's going to want to stay out of fouling them as much as possible tonight. Jefferson tried that inbounds pass, couldn't get the layup to go. Here's Hackettstown. You see number 20 in the game. And that ball is taken away. That is number 40, Luke De La Cruz. And knocked away by Almeida. Almeida looking for Carita. Carita, the Euro step, and he's fouled. And is that a shooting foul? Foul is on Urbano, and that's his first. The team's second. Carita will shoot a pair, trailing by three with 52.5 on the clock. Carita on the free throw line, number one for the Tigers. 
I know it seems silly because it's so early in this game, but this seems really nerve-wracking already. And I have a feeling every three throw tonight is going to be exactly like this. One out of two. Under a minute remaining here, 50 seconds on the clock as we head down to the end of the first quarter from Hackettstown High School. Good one here. That's Jefferson. That's Urbano. You see 35 in the game. That's Mike Nowanko. But again, a turnover, but Jefferson gets it right back. Look at Karina in there. Battling, taken away by Hackettstown. And laid up and in. And we are tied. Just like that. That's how you get back into a game. Hackettstown just played good defense, took their opportunities when they got them. That's what they're going to want to continue to do. Jefferson just needs to get their shots off. You see Hackettstown now in a man-to-man -man defense. So they started zone, now in a man. Foul is called. And 5.8 on the clock. Correa called for the foul. We should note Santos was called for his second personal here in the first quarter so he's on the bench right now that is a uh, that, we got to watch that that's huge absolutely that would Urbano be misses the first losing Santos especially if they lost them in second third period that would be a huge loss for this Hackettstown team as he is the second leading scorer on the so team coach, coach McDonough decided to sit him with the two early in this game Almeida one second for three no good and that's the end of the first quarter from Hackettstown High School. We got a ball game, folks. It's Jefferson 8, Hackettstown 8. We'll be back. Mars Sussex Sports. Blue Nail Roofing and Siding. Come home to craftsmanship. If you're even considering roofing, solar, siding, windows, doors, gutters, Blue Nail Roofing and Siding is a local family business with the best customer reviews in this part of America that you can truly trust. When the team at Blue Nail Roofing and Siding does a job, it will be done right. Count on it. Start the conversation now about your next project. Visit BlueNailNJ.com for a complimentary consultation. Blue Nail Roofing and Siding. Come home to craftsmanship. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at Bliss. All right, back here live at Hackettstown High School. Joel Kanye and Matt Giovanni with you right here on Mars Sussex Sports. Jefferson 5-1, and one, Hackettstown 6-0. And, oh. and look at the score after one. And the crowd is pumped up. The jungle's pumped up. Everybody's pumped up in this gymnasium tonight. It's good to see. As we start the second quarter, and Santos still on the bench with the two fouls. So 20 in the game is Sergio Vasquez as they play man-to-man. -man. Urbano knocked away. That is the freshman, number 53, Troy Strelick. He's a frosh. How do you earn your stripes as a freshman other than a play like that? Beautifully executed block as we take another look here. Just got all of that. Can't ask for any more. Love it. Inside, and it's good. Knocked down by Nowanko, the junior, number 35. And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. And he's pumped up after that one. On the court for Hackettstown, also Ryan Dew, number 35. Santos comes back in. So he's got two fouls, 7.31 remaining in the first half. Nowanko for a three-point conversion. Nails it. The nice thing for both of these teams is they have depth with their lineup, so if they need to do something like sit Santos, they will have those bench players to be able to come in and they can be confident that they'll be able to play at a level that they need. And they're calling a foul on 
the and freshman, Strelick, Troy Strelick. So his first offensive foul. With 7.19 to go, we'll go back Jefferson Way with a three-point advantage. Again, we'd like to thank the Hackettstown Booster Club, the Hackettstown Moose Lodge, and the Newton Moose Lodge. We make it happen. They partner with the community with sponsorships of high school athletics as Jefferson keeps the ball. Good hustle by Nowanko. They also support local veterans and seniors. Also, I'd like to thank the Hackestown and Mansfield PBA for helping us out tonight. I'd also like to thank Coach Mike McDonough for making this happen here in Hackettstown tonight. We got a good one. We'll skip pass across Studnick turnaround. That was a sweet looking shot. Couldn't get it to go. And something that just became very apparent to me is that Jefferson is winning those offensive rebounds tonight, at least so far, and that's contributing to their three-point lead. Time on the court, and looks like an injury timeout. Jacob Mendez limping Carita to the, the bench. So Corita comes back in. Billy Bergner comes in 32 for Jefferson. So for Jefferson, for the Tigers, we have 35 due, 15 is Santos, one is Carita, 53 is Strelick, and 40 is Almeida. Jefferson, we have De La Cruz, 40, 21 is Isley, Studnick is 22. Check that Studnick not in the game right now, he's taking a breather. 10 is Boralski, that's 32 over there, Billy Bergner. And Isley on the court, also with 24, Luca Urbano. There you see Carita. Good defense by this Falcons team. Great defense. They're protecting the rim perfectly so far tonight. Playing man to man. And that Jefferson crowd, you see him across the way, giving the defense a hand. 5.38 to go. First half. Nice look. Santos to Strelick. Finally got one through. And a one-point game for Jefferson. Hackettstown playing man-to-man. -man. Urbano, the senior, looking inside. Good look. Isley, boy, nice job by Almeida. Got a hand on it, but it rolled in for Jason Isley, one of those three-year starters for Jefferson. You've got to appreciate a moving shot as well. That was beautifully executed from Jefferson. Almeida. Can pop from three, and he does. Almeida leads every player on the court in three points per game, and just total three points made so far this season. But a bench warning issue to both teams. But a bench warning issue to both teams. All right, so we're hearing now a bench warning to both teams. Now, we will say Coach Mike McDonough does like to hang out on the court sometimes. Uh, he's very active. A matter of fact, he's so active, I get tired watching him, to be honest with you. McDonough, as you see him there in the blue, far side. Nice look underneath. Knocked away by Almeida, but right there, Jefferson. And whoa, what a play by Almeida. We'll take a look at that in a second. Now down the other side, Dew can't get it to go. There's the freshman Strelick and one. Yeah, well, let's take a look at that. That was a, what a nice play underneath defensively for Hackettstown. Wide open, but Almeida knocked it away, and they couldn't get it to go. And the other way, Hackettstown went, and here's the freshman, Troy Strelick, shooting two. Gets the first to roll in. He's just a freshman. Uh, you've got to say, I don't think that matters much to anybody on the court. He's definitely been the player of the game so far in my book. One out of two. Underneath, nice look for Jefferson and a foul on the freshman. 
as good play by the Jefferson Falcons. Nice look underneath as number 10, Morawski will go to the line and shoot two. First shot off the mark, and this is the first shot. Student sections getting loud for these ones. One out of two. We're tied at 14. 4.13 on the clock here in the first half. Nice having you with us. Mara Sussex Sports Network. We got a lot of games going on tonight on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. Give George Muha a call, 973-713-5944 if you want your game on the air. Okay, Pakistan sets up. Bad pass that time. Karita turns it over. Here comes Jefferson inside. Oh, what a nice look by Urbano. Those high arcing passes have been a problem so far for Hackettstown tonight. They have to clean up on those a little bit because it's giving Jefferson opportunities. Jefferson up two. Santos will reset for the Tigers. You see the student section to our left standing up the entire time. Santos baseline kicks it out. Carita thought about it inside, no good. And rebound brought down by Osterhout. 25. Jefferson up two. Studnik back in the game. Good defense. Baseline, Jefferson, and one count it. Travis Osterhout with the deuce. And every time Jefferson's been able to get a lead tonight, Hackettstown has been able to pull it back, but they're gonna wanna start playing at their pace rather than trying to play catch up all night with Jefferson. And that is the seventh team foul for Hackettstown. So that puts them over the limit. It'll be a one and one the rest of the way. They'll be shooting free throws every foul as Santos looking for Almeida, does not get the roll, oh boy. They would like that one back. Here comes Jefferson, leading by four. 2.31 on the clock. Osterhout and Almeida there. Nice job by Hackettstown. Far side taken away by Isley. He's got quick hands. He's an athlete. Here's Isley taking it to the hoop. And that's knocked away nicely by the Tigers. It's 41, and we don't have 41. We had Vasquez as 41, but that is not him. As Santos buries it. It's exactly what they needed in that. The trifecta, and Hackettstown trailing by one. 18-17. See the ball! Inside, nice look, and a foul. And that will put Jefferson to the free throw line. Good work by the Falcons getting inside. They're not settling for anything outside. They're getting inside a lot. The defense from Hackettstown inside has been pretty solid, but they're in foul trouble right now. They have 18 fouls. And this is something that's been consistent with teams trying to defend against Jefferson. Again, I mentioned that they have 81 three th free throws made this year, which is just a testament to how physical this team plays and how good they've been against man coverage to be able to draw this many fouls. Jake Studnick to the line, averaging 11.3 points a ball game. It's the first. Substitutions for Hackettstown. So they'll have Musinic in there, Almeida, Santos. Vasquez back in. And Pareda. 2017. Jefferson with the lead. Last three times out, or last two times out last year, Jefferson defeated Hackettstown. Both times last year, 66-54 and 55-46. 
defensive battle here tonight, here in the first half. Almeida, 4-3, does not get the roll. Rebound by Studnik. Here comes Urbano. Studnik thought about it, gives it back to Urbano. Urbano looking to take it to the hoop. Nice look down low, knocked away by Almeida. Almeida just floats in the air. Every time he jumps up, it's, it seems almost inhuman what he's able to do. Santos no good. And they battle for the rebound. They're gonna call a foul on Carita. And Jefferson will shoot the free throws here. Watch this block by Almeida again. This is at least two blocks down below for Almeida. But the foul against Hackettstown and Jefferson will go to the free throw line with a one and one. You know what that block reminds me of? Game seven, LeBron against the Warriors. Same, same idea, a little bit less pressure, but same idea. That was one of the best blocks I think I've ever seen. Javoni, so I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> Just pretty. Just any, any, any block against the You're glass, you have to compare him to it. LeBron. That's, 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 that's putting pressure on that young man. Pressure builds diamonds, or makes there you diamonds. Go. You're right. 47.3 <laughs> on the clock. Studnik, two out of two. That's a sweet stroke from Studnik. Jefferson with a five point advantage here in the second quarter. The Tigers will bring it up. Down five. Down to 40 seconds. Knocked out of bounds. We'll keep it this way. Hackettstown ball. Thirty on the clock. So here's Santos, looking to drive, kicks it outside to Musinek. Almeida cannot get it to go. And Jefferson basketball. Luke De La Cruz, the junior, brings it up for the Falcons. De La Cruz. Inside, taking it to the hoop. Good defense inside by Hackettstown. Three seconds remaining. I tell you what, this is a fast first half. There was one timeout taken. That was it. Yeah, very fast Three first half. Three seconds on the clock. Two, one, and the shot is no good. And that's the end of the first half here from Hackettstown High School. It is Jefferson 22, Hackettstown 17 in this big and Jack Freedom matchup. We'll be back, we'll have the second half right after this. You're watching Mars Sussex Sports. Chairman's Elite Club Loan Officer Mitch Vandalunda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or refinance of your current home. And she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalunda at loandepot.com. Me in this game, we got big plans. Overcoming every challenge. And right now, that means getting by him. It means putting in the time to get faster, to get stronger. One thing is for certain, I will never be outworked.
actually used to be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WIS supports my passions. I truly believe that WIS wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. Maximum Health Physical Therapy in Bud Lake and Long Valley focuses on putting patient care back into health care and physical therapy. And they're the only provider in Western Morris County of ArpWave Neurotherapy. ArpWave has been used by many NFL, NBA, NHL, MLM, PGA, MLS, and top Olympic athletes to help improve performance, speed up recovery, and can excel your ability to get back to your sport and make you less prone to injury. Visit MaximumHealthPT.com. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quarter service question at 973-377-1915. Hi, I'm Rob Guswell. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. Choosing a college is a big, big, big deal. But I know I started right, because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. Stop by Anthony Franco's of Sparta and Roxbury after the game where we believe that quality and satisfaction go hand in hand. We take great care to author authentic New York style pizza as well as many classic and modern Italian dishes without compromising on cost or relying on ingredients that are frozen or preserved. Our ingredients come from Wisconsin's finest dairies. We order pasta made weekly at one of Brooklyn's oldest pasta houses and coordinate daily deliveries of the best fresh meat and produce from the Hunts Point Market in the Bronx. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Morris Sussex Sports has a big goal we want to ask your help in achieving. One of the most popular things we do is publish digital trading cards of athletes. We feel strongly that high school athletes are one of the most important parts of our community, and the trading cards allow us to recognize and celebrate as many athletes as possible. So we have a lofty mission to create a trading card for every single athlete that wears a sports jersey in the Morris Sussex area. But to do that, we need more local businesses that want to help us by sponsoring these trading cards. This is a great way for a business to endear themselves to the communities they do business in. And not only would their business be featured prominently as a sponsor of a new scholar athlete every week, we also advertise them across our social media, our website, and our game broadcasts. And we get over 4 million views a week, 80% of whom are adults 35 to 65. There is no other publication or media company that has even close to that reach in this region. So if you know of a local business that loves to support the scholar athletes in their town or their surrounding area and would benefit from the exposure we would bring, please send them our way. Just call or text 973-713-5944 or email george at morrissussexsports.com. Starting 
us off at number five, here is Mendham's Liam Lloyd with the snipe past Morristown goalie Dylan Peck for his 10th goal of the year. Daniel Leonard with great defense to steal the puck back, moving behind the goal to pass it back into the middle to Ryan Leonard with a first time shot to make it 3-1 for Bernard's first whippening. Coming in at number three is Par Regional's Dylan Zelinskis on a great individual effort, creating a breakaway opportunity for the goal as Par Regional breaks through for their first win of the season. First town with the pressure on all of the Mendham players to give Harry Stetton an incredible breakaway to fake out the goalie, letting them know who the boss is to score the fourth goal for Morristown. Finally at number one, it's Pope John star Alana Robinson with the crossover against Sparta's Bryn McCurry and finishes with a smooth jumper. Let's take a look at that again, but in slow motion. The wrap-up report's top five plays of the week are brought to you by Planet Networks provides award-winning high-speed fiber internet, telecommunications, and managed technology services. Keeping essential information, technology systems, and connections updated, safe, and secure 24-7 requires specialized expertise and support. Planet Networks delivers as a trusted partner, enabling you to accomplish your personal and professional goals. For more information, visit planet.net or stop in and visit the local Newton or Denville offices and tell them Morris Sussex Sports sent you. If you want to catch even more highlights from Morris Sussex Sports broadcasts, tune into the Wrap Up Report as we feature top plays and athletes, as well as upcoming previews of the teams you want to watch out for that weekend. You can check us out on Thursdays at 6 p.m. right here on Morris Sussex Sports. All right, welcome back. Halftime here at Hackettstown High School, and you see the score right there. Jefferson, a very good first half. We were tied at eight after one, but Jefferson outscoring Hackettstown 14-9. Studnick leading the, both teams with 10 points. Santos has five for the Hackettstown Tigers, and I want to thank all the sponsors tonight, the Hackettstown and Mansfield PBA. Thank you so much. The Moose Lodge, we make it happen here in Hackettstown, partnering with the community with sponsorships of recreational and high school sports, college scholarships, as well as community donations to the police, fire, and rescue squad. Also supporting local veterans and seniors. The Moose Lodge right here on Main Street in beautiful Hackettstown. Also like to thank the Hackettstown Tigers Booster Club, also the Jefferson Falcons Booster Club, also, we have player of the game honors after the game. We're going to go live with that. We have a T-shirt for a player of the game. It's pretty cool, pretty cool swag. Uh, we're going to give out a T-shirt. Uh, the Climate Care LLC player of the game. Climate Care LLC is family owned and operated, provides installation, repairs, and maintenance service to your residential and commercial heating and cooling systems. Contact them at 973-697-6636. ClimateCareLLC.com. Joel Kanye, Matt Giovanni, Mar Sussex Sports from Hackettstown High School. And uh, what'd you think of that first half? Well, I'll tell you what, it was way more defensive ball than I thought we'd see tonight, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. We've seen a lot of turnovers, but also a lot of very good defense from both teams, both really pressing with that man defense, which has worked in each team's favor a little bit differently, but it's still a game, and that's all that both of these teams wanted. All right. Getting set for the second half. Here at Hackettstown High School. As the jungle is pumped up, it's been a loud crowd here in this gymnasium tonight. Pakistan down five. As we get started here in the second half, 7.50 on the clock, 22-17 down low. Almeida can't get it to go. Rebound by the freshman Hall, and Carita flips it over. A little sloppy there early on, and Jefferson takes over. That's been the story of his life so far tonight. Almeida has had the shots, played well, but some of them just won't drop. Luke Urbano, you're hearing some Luke from the crowd over in Jefferson, a three-pointer. And the Falcons take an eight-point lead. And those three-pointers are going to be killers, especially with 
a deficit already built against Hackettstown. Tigers down eight. First minute of the third quarter. Here's Hall, the freshman, the floater. Can't get it to go. And rebounded by Studnick. Here's Studnick driving to the lane. Next kicks it off to Osterhout, who lays it in. And just like that, the Falcons have a 10-point lead. And Coach Mike McDonough wants a timeout for the Hackettstown Tigers with 6.49 on the clock. And the Falcons have come, up, come out on fire. We talked about it early in this game. Momentum's going to be huge. And that's a wise timeout from Coach McDonough as they need to, he needs to get his team under control and they need to try to get some momentum back on their side in order to close this deficit. We see Joe Gennaro right there with the JT on his back. 26 years as head coach for the Jefferson Falcons. I remember way back when doing some games in the 90s, yeah. We weren't even born yet, Giovanni, I know that. But there was basketball back then, just so you know. He's been around a long time, we, well, just like me. 26 years for Joe DiGennaro. Like we said, he's on his way to 400 wins as a head coach. It's just incredible. That's not easy to do. I mean, <laughs> can we even name another coach around the area that has as many or more? That's just incredible. And their defense has been so good tonight. Hackistan really hasn't been able to get into that offense. They're turning the ball over. And, uh, you know, they find themselves down 10 points here. And Coach Mike McDonough, I'm sure, telling his guys, just settle down here. Plenty of time left in this ballgame. Pakistan gets the ball. The senior, Darian Santos. Another senior, Carita. There's Santos trying to break in inside. And Almeida with the putback. They needed that great play from Almeida, and that just shows his poise and skill and ability on this team. That was a big hoop for Hakasan, no doubt. They're down eight, 6.21 to go. Jefferson ball. Isley over to Oster. How? No good. Couldn't get the lay in. Almeida comes down with a rebound. Here comes Santos, looking to drive, kicks it up in the lane, did not get it to go, rolled off. Here comes Urbano. Urbano can handle that ball. Now there's Studnick, 10 points in that first half, number 22. Kicks it over to Urbano, can't get that lane to go. As they battle for it, no call. And they're gonna say Hackettstown basketball. All right, letting them play, you gotta like it. Yeah, I mean, it's, that wasn't intentional, and as much as the student section and parent section over here on Hackettstown side wanted that to be a foul, I think that was the right call to let them play there. 5.45 on the clock, third quarter. Eight point Falcons lead. Sean Hall kicks it over, out of bounds. It'll be Jefferson basketball. Uh, they're just a little out of sync tonight. Yeah, you could tell there's, there seems to be some strife now on the team. They're starting to get a little chippy with each other. They, they're, sh they're saying that that's, how does that say that's our ball? <laughs> or maybe it was strife against the refs, whatever the case may be, they're trying to get as calm down as possible here. You know what, and this is good. You know, they're gonna talk to each other and now they're going over to the coaches and they're not really sure. We couldn't really see it from our angle. Not sure if we go back to that. Not sure, yeah, we probably can't, no, we can't. So it's gonna be Jefferson basketball. Held ball, possession Jefferson. On the play, there was no possession deemed by any person. So we did not see who went off of this. Legal play, we have to go to the air. Okay. So, we just got the explanation from the official and they weren't sure either. <laughs> so they went to possession arrow and the possession arrow went to Jefferson. It's tough when there's only one camera in the whole court. Three pointer no good for Studnick, but Osterhout with the rebound. Alley oop underneath. That would have counted as a foul on Carita. 
And Jefferson will go to the free throw line for two. Jason Isley, another three-year starter, the senior. And I just want to back it up one quick second. Osterhout, when he went up to get that rebound, that was some of that football skill right there. You could tell he was able to make himself the tallest person in the court. And he was a great receiver. He caught a lot of balls for Jefferson. Absolutely. Well, you could see he, that. He caught one more there just for a different team. Hits the first. One out of two. They battle for it, and Jefferson comes down with it. Jumper. And an 11 point lead. That was Isley, I believe, knocking that down. And Jefferson now up 11. Five minutes left in the third. This might be the quietest we've heard this entire gym this entire time. Again, that tough Jefferson defense, man to man. Carita looking inside, nowhere to go. Now he's gonna take it to the hoop, kicks it out. Jacob Mendez kicks it over. He goes right to the hoop strong. That's gonna be the most important thing now for Hackettstown. They need their shots to drop. They can't have any dribblers on the rim that fall outside. And taken away by Almeida. Two on one, Almeida to the hoop, no good. Put back by Hall, no good. And brought down by Jefferson. That was Studnick with the rebound. Now, the other way, Mendez with the defensive play as we go back and forth in this ballgame. A lot of good defensive plays we're seeing we're in this ballgame. We're starting to see that full court press too from Hackettstown as they're sticking around a little bit longer on Jefferson's side of the court when they're bringing it down. Looking inside, Osterhout, shot no good. And Carreta with the rebound for the Tigers. There's Santos, Santos with the move, lays it up, no good, but he's fouled. He'll go to the free throw line. And Hackettstown needs a lot more of that to get back in this game. <laughs> yeah, and again, this is gonna be a, a stressful free throw scenario. You just, you know that you have to have at least one of these. and. Even though it's only in the third period, it's got to be a lot weighing on Santos right now. Foul on Urbano, his second. So two shots for Santos. Hall will sit. Back in the game is Mendez for Hackettstown. Hackettstown in their home whites. Jefferson away blues. Santos misses both. Pakistan coming in 6-0, Jefferson 5-1. Jefferson's only loss, a one-point loss to Paquanic. 3.45 on the clock, a little too high. Studnick's pass goes out of bounds. And Hackettstown basketball. Packed gymnasium here. It, word certainly got out about this game as it's, it seems to be as sold out as it gets. On this side is completely full. Both sides of the bleachers between us. Santos gives it over to Carita. Santos thought about it. Now he'll take it to the hoop. Kicks it over to the freshman Strelick. No good. That was a three-pointer out of bounds. And that'll go Jefferson way. Just cannot get any flow. And credit the Jefferson defense. No, Jefferson has come in here tonight knowing exactly what they needed to get done, and they've executed on that so far. Studnick gets it over the line, and that full court pressure by Hackettstown still. Knocked away underneath, but Osterhout gives it to Studnick. No good. That was a three-pointer. They battle for it near side. Out of bounds. And that'll go Jefferson basketball. The positive for Hackettstown with this full court press, other than that three-point shot from Studnick, they really haven't given Jefferson the opportunity to take many shots since they started pressing full court. Inside, knocked away. And Osterhout hit the ground hard. And this will go against the Hackettstown Tigers. Oh, 
They're going to say a pushing foul. Almeida with the foul. And that's his second. And Jefferson will bring it in underneath. 2.52 on the clock here in the third. Jefferson a nine point advantage. Studnick drains it. And Studnick gives Jefferson a 12 point lead. Studnick, what a nice inbounds play here by Studnick. Finding Studnick, an extra pass, and he buries it. Yeah, they just executed that perfectly. They knew they wanted to go to Studnick as soon as he inbounded it, and Studnick got open, wide open, for the three-point attempts and drained it. Another three-pointer from the corner, that time by Borowski. And here comes Almeida, 2-12 on the clock. Jefferson up 12. Inside, and they turn it over. Taken away nicely by Jason Isley. As we're down to under two minutes to go, third quarter. Pakistan trying to find something here as we look at Coach Mike McDonough to our right. They're down 12 points, a minute 54 remaining here in Hackettstown, the third quarter. Once again, we'd like to thank the Hackettstown PBA, the Mansfield PBA, our sponsors. No, no timeout. We go back to Hackettstown. Also, like to thank the Moose Lodge in Hackettstown. We make it happen. The Hackettstown Booster Club. Thank you guys for sponsoring the game tonight. Almeida, 15 footer, can't get it to go. Got to get in that rebound. And here comes Jefferson. Jefferson slows it down. Santos on Urbano. Stay awful. And Santos gets his hand on it. But well, they're going to say Jefferson basketball. Can we see that again? Okay. Now the officials again are talking it over. I got to say, you got to give the officials credit. Coach DiGennaro not happy with that. But. They're both communicating and, you know, it's not easy officiating. Yeah, it's a sign of good officiating, especially with the lack of review cameras that we're used to watching the NBA. It's tough to just eyeball it, and the fact that they are able to go and communicate like that is making it a better game. Santos lays it in. Oh, pretty drive to the hoop from Darian Santos, the senior. And Hackett's down, down 10. That goes out of bounds. Hakistan says that's their ball. Check this out. This is what Santos can do. Lays it up and in. Just took it in all by himself. That's If Santos is able to find a lane, you know that he's going to get to the hoop and he's going to lay it in. Jefferson basketball. A minute seven on the clock. Third quarter. And the court, half court pressure by the Tigers. Nice look, three pointer, Studnick off the mark. Osterhout with the rebound. I'm sorry, that was Isley with the putback. And he talked about it earlier in this game, those offensive rebounds for Jefferson. Yeah, they're, they're critical, and it's really, especially in the second half of play, what's put them above the top. Santos from 17, no good. They battle underneath. Carreda comes down with it. Nice catch. Santos resets. 25 on the clock. Santos thought about it. Can't get anywhere as Carreda gets the ball. Double team underneath. And just hacks down. Can't get anything going. This defense, terrific. Counted in one. Jason Isley taking it to the hoop. The defense creating offense for the Jefferson Falcons. We'll see it right here. You can see the transitional pace that they try to get. And, you know, Almeida tried to go for the block, just couldn't quite get the ball there. And that's what you've got to try to do. I don't blame him for trying there, but just unfortunately a little late on that. Isley for the three-point play, 12.9 on the clock. A 14-point lead. 
in and out. Down to 10 seconds left. Third quarter, Carita over to Santos. Santos will take it to the hoop. Santos, the running one-hander, count it in one. Darian Santos with the runner. And a chance for a three-point play on this side. Pulls Hackis down within 12. That's that nice drive by Isley. So Santos will go to the free throw line. We'll shoot for a three-point advantage. Three-point play. Got Knocks it. it down. Needed that one. Point seven on the clock. And a shot off the mark, and that'll end the third quarter of play here from Hackettstown High School. Score after three. It's Jefferson 37, Hackettstown 26. We'll be back with the fourth quarter after this. You're watching more Sussex Sports. of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or a refinance of your current home. And she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalinda at loandepot.com. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Start of the fourth quarter here at Hackettstown High School. After three, it's a 37-26 lead for Jefferson. And it's really been their defense tonight. Joel Kanya along with Matt Giovanni. Defense and then the name of the game tonight for the Falcons. Yeah, absolutely. And if the Hackettstown Tigers want to get back into it, they're going to need to show a lot of defense here down double digits right now. Strelick in the lane, he's fouled. Good drive by Strelick. And he'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. That's how Hackestown's gonna have to get back in this game, get inside, get that inside game going. They've only scored 26 points in this game. Credit the Falcons defense and Jake Studnick's offense for Jefferson. Strelick will go to the line, will shoot two. Foul was on Mike Nowanko, the junior, number 35. That's his first, the team's third. Both teams with three team fouls. Two nice shots. That's for the freshman, too. Let's not forget. Gotta love it. The freshman who, I must say, is having an excellent game. Rockets down, down by nine. Osterhout gets it over for Jefferson. Isley in the lane. Good defense by Hackettstown. Nice dish to Osterhout. Boy, that was a nice Isley to Osterhout. Or sorry, that was Urbano to Osterhout. That was sweet. That Jefferson with an 11 point lead. Here's Santos. Setting his offense. You see Coach McDonough behind him. And he bombs away. Three-pointer for Santos. <laughs> what can't Santos do? That was an excellent shot there. And Almeida with the turnover to Santos. Five in a row for Hackettstown. Two-score time, game. Timeout on the floor. 6.53 remaining. Jefferson wants a timeout. And the score, 39-33. Jefferson now up by just six as we look at Coach Mike McDonough in his 13th year as head coach at Hackettstown. And Santos is a spark. Five points in a row for Darian Santos. This crowd's pumped up. 
Yeah, is it just me or did the momentum completely shift sides of the gymnasium over here? In about 20 seconds. Yeah, Santos did exactly what Hackettstown needed to do. The whole team did some a bit of great defense, a turnover. Santos was just the man to get the points. I'd like to thank the Moose Lodge in Hackettstown. We make it happen, partnering with the community with sponsorships of recreational and high school sports, college scholarships, as well as community donations to the police, fire, and rescue squad. Also supporting local veterans and seniors. That's the Moose Lodge on Main Street in Hackettstown. Thank you to the Hackettstown and Mansfield PBA. Always great to see local PBAs supporting high school action. And we'd like to thank the Hackettstown and Mansfield PBA. Also the Hackettstown Booster Club. Always very supportive of Mars Sussex Sports. So 6.53 to go. Fourth quarter. Jefferson up six. And you see some full court pressure here by Hackettstown. That's Studnick with the ball. And a whistle blows, turnover. He uh, traveled with the basketball. Said he lifted his pivot foot. So Hackettstown now down six and a turnover. And this crowd pumped up. Here comes Santos with the ball. Jefferson's been in the man-to-man -man the entire game. Santos kicks it over to Carita. Musinak and a whistle. And it looks like it's gonna go, gonna go against the Hackettstown Tigers. Oh, they wanted a timeout, so a timeout with 6.23 on the clock. So time on the floor, Pakistan down six. Intensity in this gymnasium. Yeah, and I like that decision. I think the intensity was getting to them a little bit on that offensive possession, and I think Getting the chance to calm down and reset for Hackettstown is going to serve them well here. Only down two scores. Hackettstown's next game is tomorrow against Central Jersey Nottingham High School, who's seven and three, another tough opponent. They also play Ewing this next week, who are undefeated in Central Jersey. So McDonough does not back down to anybody. He'll play a tough schedule for the Hackestown Tigers. They bring it in underneath. Santos, four, three, no good. Rebound, brought down by Urbano. Finds a wide open Studnik who lays it in with the left hand. That's a big hoop for Jefferson. Hackestown just got a reset. They know that they can put the points on the board quickly. Santos looking to drive, tripped up, foul on the play. This is a non-shooting foul. Urbano called, that's his third foul. Team's fourth. As Hackistan will bring it in underneath. Carita. Just solid defense by the, this veteran Jefferson team. I've said it all night long. Tremendous. As Santos goes to the hoop, lays it up, no good. Rebound by Musinak. They still battle for it and brought down by Osterhout. Now Jefferson running. Isley, shot no good. Rebound by the freshman Strelick. And here comes Santos. An eight point game down to five and a half on the clock. Santos over to Carita. Pakistan doesn't need to start shooting threes yet, but if they can't get some points on the board quickly, they're going to need to think about it. Whoa, they called a five second violation on Carita. So five second, Pakistan turns it over. Jefferson basketball. Watch your eyes, watch your eyes. 521 on the clock here in the third quarter. Oster Hout with the ball. Skip pass over. 
looking underneath. Borowski can't get it to go, blocked away. Mendez got a piece of that. And this goes Hackettstown's way, good defense. Mendez was in there. The type and, of block they needed to get there. Yeah. Hackettstown basketball. Trailing by eight, 5.05 to go. Again, Hackettstown undefeated. Santos can't get it to go. Good hustle and a foul. And a pair of free throws coming up for Strella. Good hustle, Jacob Mendez. Mendez hustling in, getting that offensive rebound, allowing Strelick to come down with it. And now he'll shoot two, the freshman. He's got a sweet stroke too. Again, thank you to the Moose Lodge of Hackettstown. Hackettstown and Mansfield PBA. This is both. Studnick the rebound. Four forty and counting here in the fourth quarter. Jefferson in no hurry. Leading by eight. Three pointer from the corner, no good. But another offensive rebound by Jefferson. Can't get it to go. That was Isley inside, out of bounds. We'll keep it this way. Jefferson ball. And that's what I think we're going to start seeing now as the clock continues to run down. Long possessions where Jefferson just eventually takes a three to try to expand their lead. 423. They skip it around. Studnick from downtown, no good. Another offensive rebound by Isley. And that has killed the Hackettstown Tigers. And here's a steal, Almeida. Almeida lays it up and in. That's a big hoop for Hackettstown. Nobody on Hackettstown is going to complain about that. They need to keep doing what Almeida was just able to do. Jefferson had an 11 point lead heading to the fourth quarter. They now up six, double teamed underneath. Osterhout takes it to the hoop, and they're gonna call a foul on the Tigers. And Osterhout will shoot two. Good strong drive to the hoop. I mean, again, keep bringing it back to football because that's what we know Osterhout for so well, and he's just got that big presence on the court where he can just play more physical than almost anybody else there. And with the soft touch right there, also nails the first. Foul was on Carita, his third, the team's fourth. One out of two, Isley battling again underneath, and he gets the call, goes out of bounds off of Jefferson. Oh, I'm sorry, off of Hackettstown. But Jefferson will take it in, take it out underneath. 346 on the clock. Whistle. Not sure. As the officials will talk it over again. Can you lip read? Giovanni. No. <laughs> I can't, but Coach De Janeiro did not seem happy that they're relooking at this, which makes me think that it might be going Hackettstown's way. Are they taught maybe the clock didn't start? They, do they want to go back, add some time to the clock? No, they took two seconds away. So they're saying 339 on the clock oh instead of 341. So he stopped the play because the clock didn't okay. start. But when <laughs> Coach De Janeiro showed that much emotion. I thought that they were considering giving the ball to Hackettstown. Well, Jefferson ball. Well, you don't want to take your team out of a, the flow, but the officials saw the clock did not start and stopped it. Seven point lead for Jefferson. Urbano to the hoop. Oh, and does not go. That was a nice, pretty play. Here comes Santos for Hackettstown. Santos. Lays it up, no good, he's fouled. Darian Santos getting this team closer. It will shoot two 
Studnik with the foul, his third, the team's sixth. Darian Santos just takes off down the court. Whenever he gets the ball, he can get it from one end to the other in two, three seconds. Comley hits the first. See the time on the clock, 322. Six point Jefferson lead. Santos, one more. Hits them both. Nothing but net that time. Now in the full court pressure. See the pressure by Santos on Studnik. Good job by Studnik getting it over. And now out to the general, Urbano. Urbano the senior, nowhere to go. Out of bounds, Hackettstown basketball. Could bring this within one score here. They were down 14 in the third period. That is, that shows the, the grit and willingness not to give up from Hackettstown. Hackettstown on a 14-5 run right now after being down 14 points. Under three to go. Santos kicks it over to Almeida. Three-pointer off the mark. Ryan Dew with that shot. Good shot selection, just a little bit. Almeida lost his shoe, and they'll call a timeout. Coach Patano wants a timeout because Almeida can't play without a shoe. Are they saying no time? Yeah, it was a timeout. Hackistan called the timeout. He had to call timeout there. Almeida playing so hard, loses his shoe. Yeah, he was a bit forced to call that timeout there. So good one here, 244 on the clock, a five point Jefferson lead. And once again, we'd like to thank the Hackistown PBA, the Moose Lodge, Main Street in Hackistown, also the Hackistown Booster Club. And folks, we're gonna have that Climate Care LLC player of the game. We get those nice little t-shirts, little Mars Sussex swag we got going on. We'll give that to one of the players right now. I would think it's Studnik for Jefferson, but it could be a lot of players on, on both sides. With, <laughs> with the game getting as close as it is, I think it could legitimately come down to the final two and a half minutes. Hackett Sound basketball. Down five. The jungle getting louder. Hear them in the background. Gotta love it. High school basketball. Santos thought about it, steps to the side, pops for three, no good. And brought down by Urbano, that would have been huge. There's a trap here in the backcourt, and a double dribble. Credit Ryan Dew with the hustle for Hackettstown. Missed the shot there, but got exactly what they needed to do on defense, got that trap, forced them into the double dribble. Ryan, Just textbook from Hackettstown. Ryan Dew bringing a lot of energy off the bench for Hackettstown, Almeida. Almeida with the spin move, jumper off the glass. And just like that, it's a one possession game. Here comes the pressure by Hackettstown. Whistle blows, timeout Jefferson. 2.07 remaining. 42-39. As you look at head coach Mike McDonough and the Hackettstown Tigers. It is loud, it is raucous right now in the jungle. You like it? Absolutely, I mean, how can you not like it? And I'll tell you, Ryan Dew coming off the bench with a spark. Santos having a big second half here for the Tigers, 2-11 on the clock. Again, Jefferson coming in at 5-1, Pakistan 6-0. We're talking earlier, De Janeiro was talking to me about, as they talk it over at half court, the uh, Jefferson assistants. But it's, talking about PowerPoints, I know it's only January 6th, but it's talking about PowerPoints. And they really don't have many because a lot of the teams they played have no wins for Jefferson. So this is a big game for them. With that aspect in mind for the state playoff PowerPoints, and he's already talking about it. It is early in the season. 
Uh, only the seventh game of the year. But a big game, not only in the Freedom Division, both teams 3-0, and but for state playoff power points. Absolutely, and they just look to hold on here, but they're going to have to start running their offense again. 42-39, Jefferson. 2-11 on the clock. And now they're going to the scorer's table. And they're having trouble, I believe, with the scoreboard. And they're going to bring the kids back to the benches. Once again, I'd like to thank our sponsors. It gives us time to thank our sponsors. Every time we get a chance, we'd like to thank them. Yeah, the scoreboard is blinking off and on. And the official's coming over. Power went out on the clock, so as soon as we get it going again, we're going to have the side out of bounds. All right, sounds good. Thank you, sir. So we're getting the official word from the official. The power went out on the scoreboard, so once they get that working, working they'll go back to play but again i'd like to thank the moose lodge we make it happen main street hackettstown they partner with the community they sponsor recreational and high school sports college scholarships as well as community donations to the police fire and rescue scout squad also supporting local veterans and seniors also like to thank the hackettstown booster club the hackettstown and mansfield pba and you see everything scrolling up top, top right corner. We got a good one here. I think that scoreboard's working. Did you uh, unplug something there, Giovanni? I mean, by the facial expressions of both coaches, I feel like they kind of colluded on that one because they were <laughs> happy to get the extra time out there. They're still talking about it. I thought they were coming back. The scoreboard looks okay now as we look at Coach Mike McDonough. Talk about just full of energy. The guy tires me out watching him coach a basketball game. He must burn 2,000 calories running up and down the court. And that energy is heavily contributing to this comeback effort for Hackettstown so far this game. I mean, you've got to have a guy over there that will never give up, and he has not given up once this game. So let's reset it. It's going to be Jefferson ball side out over this side. 2-11 remaining. You see Hackestown has one timeout remaining. Jefferson has three. See it on our scoreboard there. It's a three-point advantage. Officials talking it over. They sent the kids back. Now, this has, this has to have some type of effect. I'm not sure on which team negatively, but possibly Hackettstown because they had such momentum. It's going to reset the momentum, but with Hackettstown being within one possession now, I think in that aspect, they'll still be okay. I really think that it's going to be more positive for both teams as it gives these players a chance to rest, and they're really going to come at this last two minutes and 11 seconds with everything they've got. Officials now talking to Coach DeGennaro on your left. Coach McDonough on your right as they work on the scoreboard. Players just standing around. That cannot be good for either side. Uh, the scoreboard to our left is out. That's what's happening. So the scoreboard to our right is on. The scoreboard to our left is not on. And we're going to get an official right now. If anything was to kick off in this game from the stands, the players are going to go into the locker rooms and everything will be noted at the table. If there is no issues, the teams will remain outside, and they'll be, as long as we get this resolved within the next couple minutes, uh, the right side out of bounds. If not, we're going to give them the brace period to let the kids stretch real quick so nobody gets hurt, and then we'll take the side out of bounds. That so sounds good. Thank you, sir. All right, the official word is they can't get this working here. They're going to send the kids to the locker room to take a break, which is kind of odd. I never really saw that before. 2-11 remaining, and if they could get this thing going, but they're still working on it. They may have to un just unplug it. I don't know. Do you know how to work scoreboards, Chip? <laughs> I'm on not it? a scoreboard, not a high, high school scoreboard <laughs> electrician. Expert engineer? No, it's... Okay, I thought maybe we could help have you go over there, send you over there, and <laughs> I mean, you're looking good. You look dapper, you got the tie, you got the, you know, jacket on, you know, maybe. No? No, it's... <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, hey, I forgot my scoreboard manual today. 
I, I, listen, I just want to also thank our streaming producer tonight. He's doing a great job, Giovanna Policino. Also, Justice Greg is with us, doing a great job. There you go. That's the scoreboard that's giving us all this problem. And Eric Van Arsdale on camera doing a nice job right there. You see it. So why don't we do this? We're going to take a break. The score, you see it. It's a three-point game. We got a good finish here coming up at Hackettstown High School, 211 left. But we're having trouble with the scoreboard. And we're going to take a break right now. 42-39 Jefferson. There you see the other scoreboard. Now that's off, too. We'll be back. Mars Sussex Sports. In Stanhope, New Jersey, that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt, quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers, whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. I actually used to be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching. All right, we're back. They got both scoreboards working. Mars Sussex Sports, 2-11 remaining in the fourth quarter. Jefferson a three-point lead. Here we go. Should be a good finish. Osterhout for Jefferson for they have Urbano Osterhout, Boralski, and the drive counted in one by Osterhout. Just took it to the hoop. Again, a strong move by that young man. And he's out also him and, I mean, really all of them. Isley, Osterhout, Studnik. Yeah, and you mentioned before this break could have taken the momentum away. I think we just saw the momentum switch sides yet again. Hackettstown's gonna need to get something going here quick. Three point lead, or three points there for Osterhout. Now a six point lead for Jefferson. Under two minutes to go. Santos, Almeida, bombs away. Ethan Almeida, and it's a three point lead. With how many of his shots that have dribbled out tonight he needed that one and he got it Andrew Carita not happy with that call right in front of us they had Studnik trapped and uh, the foul was on Carita so Jefferson takes it out right in front of us 137 on the clock a three point Jefferson lead Studnik will bring it in for Jefferson. Now they're talking it over again. And they're running time off the clock. There's no time out. I'm not sure what, what it is. You see Coach Mike McDonough talking it over with the official. See my son over there on the scorer's table, right on the edge there. That's my boy. I just I have to give him a shout out. Josh, <laughs> my boy Josh Kanye. Loves his basketball team. All right, here we go. I'm not sure what that was for. But here we go. Minute 37. Now we're gonna call timeout. Jefferson wants the Jefferson wants the timeout. A minute 37 on the clock. 45-42. We got some crazy strategy going on here. Momentum, you thought might have been lost a little bit by Hackettstown, but they got it right back with that three-pointer by Almeida. In contrast to the first three periods of this game, this has been the longest period of basketball, <laughs> of high school basketball I think I've ever watched, but you gotta love it. It's been all exciting, and Hackettstown yeah. continues to try to claw their way back into this one. 
All right, Coach Joe DiGennaro breaks it up. Stunnick will bring it in. Ryan do in for Hagestown, 35 right in front of him. Stay tight, stay tight. Pressure defense by stay the Tigers. Tight. Out of trouble getting it in. They give it over to Urbano, whistle blows. And another timeout. So Jefferson calls another timeout. So that's a credit to the Tiger defense. And only one left the piece now. It's, it's gonna be interesting to see how this game comes down to the end and how these coaches who both we've talked about their experience throughout the night, how both of them are gonna use those last timeouts. Coach Mike McDonough talking to his team. See how animated he gets, the energy from the 13-year head coach at Hackettstown. Firing his team up. Let's reset, 137 on the clock, we'll do it again. Jefferson will bring it inbound. Studnick in front of us. Give it to Isley. Isley with the basketball. They get it over. He drives to the hoop, puts it up, no good, block by Almeida. Almeida with another block. Here comes Hackettstown, down by three, Almeida, that's a two. Does not get it to go. Ryan, two, the rebound to Santos. Are you kidding me? And a whistle blows, timeout by Jefferson. Are you kidding me? Down 14 in the third period, and they are right back in it now. Tied the game up. What a moment. That's got to be the moment of the year. Maybe the moment of the, a lot of these players' high school basketball careers. Darian and Santos. They just look to finish now. Wow. They were down 37-23. Since then, they've outscored Jefferson 22-8. And it's been the energy they've gotten, I think, from this crowd, too. It's got to be. This crowd is fired up. Oh, absolutely. When they were down 14, you mentioned the crowd had been silenced, and they've just reawoken here tonight. That just goes to show you, if your crowd is able to stay in the game the full amount of time, you're going to have a good chance to get back in it. Little Bruce playing in the background. Yeah, we're in Jersey. Mars Sussex Sports, baby, right? Absolutely. We're tied at 45, a minute two remaining in this ball game. We got a good one, folks. Jefferson came in at five and one. Pakistan came in at six and zero. Oh. Both are three and zero oh in the Freedom Division. We're only on January 6th. There's a whole two months remaining left in this season. Hackistown bring uh, Jefferson brings it in far side. Here we go. One minute to go in the fourth quarter. Down low, Osterhout lays it up and in. Nice pass by Jefferson and Osterhout coming up big in the fourth quarter. Now Santos whistle timeout. Hackistown, 45.1 seconds left. A 47-45 Jefferson lead. Thank you to the Moose Lodge in Hackettstown. We make it happen. They partner with community. They sponsor recreational and high school sports, college scholarships, as well as community donations to the police, fire and rescue squad. Thank you to the Moose Lodge for also supporting the veterans and seniors of our community. The Moose Lodge in Hackettstown. Thank you to the Hackettstown and Mansfield PBA. Also, thank you to the Axon Booster Club. Our post game show, we're going to have the player of the game. We're going to give out one of our cool Mars Sussex Sports shirts to the player of the game. I don't know who it's going to be. My guess is as good as yours. <laughs> Whoever drains the game winning shot. It's the Climate Care LLC player of the game. 973 697 6636. Climate Care LLC is family-owned and operated, provides installation, repairs, and maintenance service to your residential and commercial heating and cooling systems. ClimateCareLLC.com. Here we go. 
45.1. Hackestown has no more timeouts remaining. Jefferson has no more timeouts remaining. This is it, folks. 45 seconds left. Jefferson up two. Darian Santos with the basketball. Falcons in that man-to-man. -man. Wide open, two underneath. What a block! Jason Isley taken away by Santos, and he's fouled. Holy cow. What is happening? What a block by Isley, and what a play by Santos. The foul will put Santos to the line for a one and one as Jefferson is over the limit, their seventh team foul. I've talked about these free throws all night, but this is the, this is the this takes the cake on the most stressful one. One and one misses the front end. They battle for the rebound off of Jefferson. What a heady play by the freshman Troy Strelick. How about that? <laughs> you can't. Oh, this kid's had a great season, but you can't tell me after tonight that he won't be a member of this team. That he's just had an amazing game so far. He's just a freshman. Ryan Dew with the ball over to Santos. Down to 18 on the clock. Do they hold for the last shot? Santos to the hoop with a left hand off the glass and in. 10, 11 seconds left. Down to eight seconds, seven seconds. A long pass to Osterhout. Osterhout shot at the buzzer, no good. And we are going to OT. Holy cow. Holy cow, what a ball game. What's, what's, it? what's better than a fourth quarter comeback in overtime? <laughs> I don't even know what you call it. It's, it the excitement is just unreal in here, and it's going to be <laughs> a, good, a good overtime period. We are going to OT 47 47. Hackettstown, Jefferson. We'll be back from Hackettstown after this. Smart Sussex Sports. Supports my passions. I truly believe that WISP wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. Jen Vasilino of the Kosher Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. Getting your money's worth. All right, are you ready? Overtime. Of course I'm ready. How do you, when the football season ends in high school sports, everybody's like, oh, what do we have to look forward to? This is exactly what you have to look forward Absolutely. to. How do you not love high school basketball? Hackettstown came back from a 14-point deficit in the third quarter. Jump ball here. Each team gets one timeout. It's a four-minute, four-minute overtime. Jump ball. Almeida give, gets it to Santos. Almeida. We have a tie ball game. It's the first time. Oh, when was the last time Hackettstown had a lead in this game? I don't even remember. Did they ever have a lead in this game? Early in the game, they did. <laughs> they might have. They might have made the first shot, but they haven't really spent any time ahead. Foul on Luke Urbano. Urbano is fourth foul. The team's eighth. This is a one and one for Santos. Oh, they're saying two shots. This is a two shot foul shot for Santos. We're tied. We're in OT. Calmly. Ice. <laughs> Ice in his veins. Jefferson student section tried to phase him there. Did not work. Calmly hits the first. Two out of two. Santos gives Hackestown a two-point lead from the corner. Borowski, no good. Santos the rebound. 3.40 on the clock, overtime. Santos taking it to the hoop, and they're going to call jump ball possession Jefferson. 
Probably the right call. I tell you what, we've had a nice officiated game tonight. They've been on top of things. They've been communicative with each other and with us and with the coaches. Very good officiating game tonight. Absolutely, especially when you could see that communication happen. It just gives you confidence in the whole crew and the calls that they're making. Jefferson basketball, Urbano, the senior, taking it to the hoop with the left hand. He's fouled. He'll go to the line. He'll shoot two. Good drive by Luke Urbano. Now I have a sneaking suspicion that the Hackettstown student section is going to be just a little bit louder than the Jefferson student section was on this free throw attempt. Two shots. It is loud in this gym. And how about that? No problem. Luke Urbano says, I don't even hear you folks. Let's see if he could do it twice in a row here. Gets the roll. We're tied at 49. 321 on the clock. Darian Santos, really the player of the game for Hackistan, brings it up. Santos. Ryan Dew pops from the top of the key, no good. And rebounded by Osterhout. And with the, with the excitement and finish that this game's going to have, it reminds me a lot of a March Madness game. It does have a feel. It definitely has a postseason feel. These two rivals, two good ball, two good programs. Out of bounds, it's going back to Hackettstown. Come on now, let's go, open. Again, the defense on both sides has been tremendous. <laughs> Absolutely, we're in overtime and neither of them have gone above 50 yet. Almeida pops from 17, no good. Out of bounds, out goes Jefferson Way. Good open shot, just didn't get it. Yeah, and if you're Hackettstown, you want Almeida to take those all day with how he's been this season. Not all of them are gonna drop, but more likely than not, that's your good opportunity to score. Urbano resets for the Jefferson Falcons. Coming in, 5-1 and one record. Their only That's loss it. to Paquanic. A one-point loss. Jumper, baseline, it's good. Stugnik, who's been there all night for Jefferson. Back to a two-point lead for the Falcons. Do the floater with the left hand. Ryan Do. Dew's been, been taking some good shots, but they haven't been landing for him. It's good to see him get one. Get up. Urbano. See Almeida on him. Now Dew, they change up. Man-to-man -man defense. defense for Hackett's 10. Urbano. Help Help. Very quick to the hoop. Left hand. Lays it in. That was beautiful. Luke Urbano. And Jefferson, a two-point lead. 1.30 left. Santos. Isley on Santos, number 21. On, Almeida from downtown. That's going to come down to the wire. Packets down, up by one. Three-pointer by Ethan Almeida. Catch your breath. One minute left, overtime. Urbano, spin move, lays it up, no good. Out of bounds, nice defensive play by Jacob Mendez, 34 for Hackettstown. And I have to say, ever since Almada's block, attempted block that turned into a foul in, I believe, the third period that put them down 14 points, they really have been clean with all of those blocks, which has heavily contributed to their comeback efforts. So. Tremendous job. I mean, Almeida's had a terrific second half. Santos has had a terrific se second half. And the other guy, how about Ryan Dew with that running floater in the lane? Absolutely. Ryan Dew has <laughs> really, really impressed with his defense and also some of the shots that he's been able to take, especially that floater, which he's able to go in. How about the Jefferson Falcons? Every, I mean, these guys, they're all the same. I mean, they all, who, 
They've all contributed big time. Osterhout, Urbano leading the way. He's the general on the court. Stutnik with his shots. Isley with his defense. I mean, he, it's it's a team effort for Jefferson. Team effort for both teams. Just a fun to watch. These, in the email we got from the coaches before the game, one thing that was similar with both of the emails is we're a team. We're not one star player, but we're a team. And you can really see that with how both of these teams have played tonight. We see Coach McDonough. Again, I'd like to thank the Hackstown and Mansfield PBA. The Hackstown Booster Club, the Moose Lodge. We make it happen. Stay tuned for our post game. We'll have interviews with a couple of the guys. Our Climate Care LLC player of the game. 54-53, Hackettstown, 55.3 on the clock. Isley gives it to Urbano, inside to Osterhout. Now looking inside, taken away, Mendez. Osterhout is there, knocked away. And a block, and now a foul on Isley. Oh, what a block, Mendez was in there. Defense by this Hackettstown team. Again, this team was down 14 in the third quarter. Not only just keeping this undefeated season alive, I think this comeback effort in this game has shown the what this team is, what they're going to be this season, and I think they're going to be a... This is the front end of the one and one Almeida tipped it up and couldn't get it to go. So here it comes, Urbano. Oh, that's Studnik. Now Osterhout, 35 on the clock. Osterhout thought about it, gives it inside. Isley, good defense. Isley the jumper, no good. Rebounded by Mendez. He keeps the ball and he's fouled. And Mendez will shoot two. Double bonus time for Hackettstown. Let's go over scenarios real quick. If he drills both of these three-point game, puts a lot of pressure on Jefferson. Drills one of these, Jefferson's most likely gonna Actually, I don't know how they'd play that. Maybe go for the game-winning three, maybe try to take it into double overtime. And if he misses both of them, Jefferson just needs to run their normal offense. Big free throws here, two for Jacob Mendez. They're missing free throws late in the game here. They missed now a couple of them. They've made them, they made them when it mattered to tie the game up, but they haven't been able to pull away with the free throws. In and out, and a one-point advantage still for Hackettstown. Here's Jefferson's chance. 20 seconds left, Osterhout brings it up. Over to Urbano. Ha uh, Jefferson wants the last shot, you gotta figure. Unless they take it right here to the hoop, lays it up and rolls in. Seven seconds on the clock. Here comes Santos, four seconds, three. Santos to the hoop, lays it up, no good. The putback is good, it's good. Hackettstown wins! Holy cow! I couldn't have wrote it any better myself. What a way to win the game. Santos goes up, misses the rebound. Guess what? His team was right there for the putback. And this fan section <laughs> is just going crazy right now. Who tipped that in? Was it the freshman? <laughs> Who tipped it in? I have no idea. I saw a hand go up and the ball go in the hoop. That's all I could see from here. Because everybody in the stands stood up. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What a win for Hackettstown. What a heartbreak for Jefferson. Their second one-point loss of this season. Who got that tip? And they uh, look at it. Now they're shaking hands. Great job. This is what sportsmanship's all about. What a win for the Hackettstown Tigers. What a comeback. What a finish. A tip at the buzzer. I didn't even see it. Everybody was standing up. I think the only way to be able to tell this is to play back the broadcast in like super slow motion. You'll be able to see it for a long <laughs> time right here on Mars Sussex Sports on their YouTube page. And that's what it's all about. That is what high school basketball is all about. What a ball game for the Hackettstown Tigers. We're going to do this. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back, get a couple of interviews with these guys and uh, give out our player of the game. We've got to figure out who it is. <laughs> right. It's going to be a hefty discussion. All right, we'll be back right after this. Mars Sussex Sports. 
to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak NERD. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. Sussex Meat Packing in Wharton, New Jersey is a family owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. and I'm the chair of the Brock Eichler Personal Injury Department in Roseland, New Jersey. When I was asked to sponsor the KJS ice hockey team, I said, what a great fit, because not only am I from an ice hockey family, but I'm also live in Kinelon. My son plays goalie for Jefferson Middle School, and I've lived in Sparta. So I'm very familiar with the community and many of the people who are involved in the youth hockey sports. So if you're injured in an auto accident, an elevator crash, a trucking accident, a slip and fall, Please give me a call, and I will take very good care of you. Hey, don't you just love it when more assistant sports broadcast your game? Or do you prefer a silent motion-detecting camera just following the movement on the court? Let's face it, the only real way to watch your favorite team is through Morris Sussex Sports award-winning service that it's brings you play-by-play -play commentary, right live instant replays, cool cinematic graphics, real-time scoreboard, fun fan engagement, and much, much more. Plus, all of our broadcasts are free to watch. Grandparents can easily pull it up on their smart TVs, and alumni can watch from all over the world. So if you want to reserve us, have your games broadcasted the Morris Sussex Sports way, then just reach out to me, George Muha, at george at morrisessexsports.com, or call or text me at 973-713-5944. enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. All right, welcome back to Hackettstown High School. Unbelievable game, 56-55. Hackettstown wins it in overtime. We got our Climate Care LLC player of the game right here is Darian Santos. Here's your T-shirt. Hold it up for the folks. Your Mars Sussex T-shirt. There you go. Hey, man, that was crazy. You guys were down 14 points in the third quarter and looked out of it, out of sync, all that. You were the key to bring these guys back. Yeah, we just had to weather the storm. You can't, at, at situations where you're down 10 points, you just, you can't get down, you know. Defense is key. That's what that's what helped us is that we started rebounding as a group. You know, we started driving. You know, we knew, we, we analyzed that they were in a one-on-one, -on -one and we just took that and, and, you know, used it to our advantage. Now, you're a team leader. You're a senior. And you kind of took over in that third quarter when you guys were down 14 points. Yeah, I, you know, I was just feeling like I was, it's, in the moment of the game, you know, I I know my team needs me in, the, in this situation, and you know, I'm just you know, I'm just looking to win. That's all I am. At the end of the day, I'm just looking to win, and I'll put my body on the line for this, for real. Great job, Darian. Great job. Our player of the game. Thank you. I got hey. Ethan Almeida right here. Hey. Another. You could have had that one of those T-shirts too. Maybe next time. But oh, he deserved it. He deserved <laughs> hey, listen. Hey, listen. Talk about Mendez with that tipping at the end. What are you guys? What were you thinking? I, I don't even know. I didn't even see him coming. He. We know. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. We know Jacob could fly, so I saw him coming in. I, I knew he had it. He put it in. I was a little nervous. I was looking, trying to 
get it in there. Got it in. That's all we asked for was crash the boards. That's exactly what they said. Shot goes up, everybody. We have two seconds. It's last chance, and that's what he did. So he made a play. Talk about the energy in this gym from the jungle. Oh, it means everything. They were saying all week, they were hyping this whole game up to pack it out, pack it out throughout the game, even when we're down there with us. And then at the end, it's, it's just love, you know, for Hackettstown. That's what we do it for. First time in a while you beat Jefferson. Tell me about it. I haven't beat them one time and I'm a senior. First it, time ever. Congrats, man. Thank Great you. job. Great game. And we now have Thank Coach you. Mike McDonough. You had to shake a hand. Your energy is just... I mean, I'm tired watching. I always say that, but oh my gosh, that was incredible! What a game! It, it was a it was a hell of a game. Uh, you know what? It was kind of tough pushing them to the finish line tonight. I don't think it was our best game that we played all season, but you know what? I just told them in the locker room: good teams find ways to win. This is a dent in their armor for the season. We have a lot more games to go, but you know what? They hung in there. They weathered the storm. What'd you say? 14 in the third. Seems like it was 14 all game. Um, Joe's, Joe's one of the best coaches I've ever gone against. He's a great friend. So Jefferson's a, a phenomenal team. He's a great coach. We lucked out tonight. We lucked out. We still have to go there. What are you thinking at the end there? Uh, Santos drive. Yeah, you did. That's how. Because I didn't want them to adjust to what we were, you know, you could call a timeout, run nothing. They could change the zone. Could, just let them go. And thank God for Mendez following it with the tip in. Great job. Santos drives the hoop and does what he does. He's quick. He's lightning quick. He makes everyone cave. I'm sorry. And then all of a sudden you get a tip in. So. Well, hey, it was a great game. Unbelievable for us on Mars Sussex. I'd like to thank you for helping us out, for oh, coming here. Thank you for coming. All but, you guys. Thank you guys. Everybody behind the scenes yes. does a great job. Seven and out. Seven and out. We're lucky. We're lucky. We'll move on. We got Nottingham tomorrow to Coaches vs. Cancer uh, Classic at Montgomery. Big group four school. That's very good. And uh, we'll go, we'll compete again tomorrow. Congrats, Live Mike. Coach, congrats. Thank very you. good. Thank you. Good win tonight. Matt, come here for a second. I'm gonna bring Matt Giovanni in. He gotta show his little his his stuff. What's up? Great game. Great Thank, game. You. Thank you. Matt, talk about this unbelievable game. It was absolutely amazing for my first basketball game of the season it's you know how can you ask for any better and one point game heartbreak for jefferson great game for hackettstown love to see the comeback and the fan section was incredible we should give jefferson a lot of credit too they played an unbelievable game it just it just fell short there at the end i mean this crowd was just so good i mean momentum won the day we said that very early in the game jefferson had it Hackettstown was able to take it, and unfortunately, Jefferson just couldn't take it back. All right, great job tonight. Thank you, and you too as well. Always, right. always great working with you. Matt Giovanni right there. I'd like to thank everybody for watching tonight. What a ball game. 56-55, Hackettstown wins it in overtime. Last second shot beating the Jefferson Falcons. That'll wrap it up from Hackettstown High School. From everybody here at Mars Sussex Sports, I'd like to thank our sponsors, the Hackettstown Booster Club, Hackettstown and Mansfield PBA, also the Moose Lodge right here on Main Street in Hackettstown. Folks, that'll wrap it up. Have a great night here on Mars Susk Sports. I think Jefferson got a piece. Certainly makes them easy to spot those yellow shoes. Underneath, and they're gonna say that's a travel. All right, Jefferson with the six point lead. Carita picks it up. Good steal by Carita. Again, a turnover, but Jefferson gets it right back. Look at Carita in there. Battling, taken away by Hackettstown, and laid up in it. 20 in the game is Sergio Vasquez, as they play man to man, Urbano knocked away. That get tired watching, to be honest with you. McDonough, as you see him there in the blue, far side. Nice look underneath, knocked away by Almeida. But it's long for Jefferson and a foul on the freshman. As good play by the Jefferson Falcons. Good defense. Baseline, Jefferson, and one counted. Knocked away nicely by the Tigers. It's 41, and we don't have 41. We had Vasquez as 41, but that is not him. Bono looking to take it to the hoop. Nice look down low, knocked away by Darian Santos. 
Another senior, Carita. There's Santos trying to break in inside. And Almeida with the third. Jefferson a nine-point advantage. Studnik drains it. Tough to just eyeball it, and the fact that they are able to go and communicate like that is making it a better game. Santos lays it in. Double team underneath. And just Hackstown can't get anything going. This defense, terrific, counted and won.